Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll show you how to build another medieval house so that you can have more variety in your towns and settlements. There are some details of this build, like the stone door frame and the stone walls behind them, and the railings around the foundations that you don't have to build if you don't want to, especially if you're trying to cut down the amount of building pieces that you use. The build still looks good without it, so that's all fine. Also, if you don't want to use the pin, then I would suggest swapping out the adobe walls for wooden ones. And that goes for all my medieval builds. Likes, comments, subs, and all that good stuff is much appreciated. So without further ado, let's get into the build. Okay, so firstly, you want to start off with a foundation. And the foundation is a 4x2. And then you want to switch these to block. Once you've done that, you want to come down to these end two foundations and you want to add four more foundations. Just like that. And then you also want to switch these to block. Once you've done that, you want to get your fence foundations and you want to go around the edges and just place them all the way around. Once you've done that, you want to switch to your pillars. You want to have stone pillars, and you want to build these up one, and you want to put them on all the corners. Now, you want to come to this corner right here, place a pillar, and then two foundations opposite, place another pillar here, and then the same at this side. Now that you've done that, switch to wooden pillars, and you want to build these up two pillars on the previous stone pillar. Now place the door on this foundation right here, making sure that you're actually placing it on the foundation and not the fence foundation. To do that, you press Q, R, B, or R1 to cycle the snap points, like that. And then you want to move to this foundation right here and also place a window frame, doing the exact same thing. Now, once you get to this foundation here, you want to get stone door frames and stone walls. And what you want to do is place the stone door frames on the outside snap point, which is the actual foundation. Also, the higher snap point, as you can see. And you want to place that like that, and you want to do this all the way around. Now that you've done that, you want to get your walls and you want to go to this foundation and you want to make sure that you place this on the lower snap point, which is also the fence foundation. Once you do that, you want to press E, Y or triangle to flip it so that you can see the wooden beam and you want to do this all the way around again. Once you've done that, you want to come back to the door here and you want to place another door frame just behind on the lower snap point, like that. And then you want to come to the window frame and you want to place a wall on the lower snap point, just like that. Then you want to place a wall on top of the lower wall. And then after that, you want to get a greenhouse wall and replace the lower wall, just like that. And then you want to pick this wall back up after that, you want to move on to your adobe walls. And you want to make sure that you're placing the adobe walls on the highest snap point, which is also the stone door frames. And what you want to do is you want to press Y, E, or triangle to flip. And you want to repeat this all the way around and build them up to the same height as the pillars. Now that you've done that, you want to get some stone sloped walls, left and right, and you want to come to the roof. What you want to do is get these and just place them like so, and then you also want to place them here and here, here and here, and here and here. 
once you've done that you want to get a stone pillar and you want to come down to this point here and you want to replace these wooden pillars this is if you want this to look like a chimney if not then just leave it once you've done that you want to get some wooden sloped roofs and you want to just fill this in Now that you've done that, you want to come down to this point here. And what you want to do is bring these down to the same level as the stone pillar. Just like that. And the next thing you want to do is get a wooden pillar. And you want to snap it straight off of this stone pillar. Just like that. And then you want to snap another one off that wooden pillar. And then you want to pick this wooden pillar up. Now, come down to the door. Place a foundation here, get a pillar, place a pillar on the end and press Q, R, B or R1 to cycle the snap points and then you will get a lower snap point like that. Once you've done that, get another pillar and go to the center of the foundation and then press Q to lower this, R1 or RB, place another pillar. Once you've done that, pick this one up, place another foundation which is lower pick these up now place one pillar in the center of this foundation and then place another foundation on the lower snap point and that's the lowest you can go on official so what you want to do now is just pick these up and then just fill the rest in to the same level as this foundation and then also you want to turn these to block now come over to this side here remove this wall because this is where you're going to have a door and then place two foundations like this and switch these to block now get fence foundations and put these on all the edges and then get stone pillars and you're going to put each corner and then once you've done that you want to switch to your stone door frames and your stone walls and you want to place the stone door frames on the outside like this making sure that they're on the higher snap point and then you want to get your walls and these want to be on the lower snap point by pressing Q, RB or R1 to cycle the snap points and then once you do that you want to press Y, E or triangle to flip and you want to do this all the way around now that you've done that you want to get stone sloped walls and you want to place these on top of the door frames. You want to make sure that they're the opposite way by flipping them. So you want to press E, triangle or Y. Now you want to get sloped wooden roofs. And place them down like that. So far so good, you want to get some wooden fence foundations, you want to attach this to the pillars and place them on the ground like this and do this all the way around. Now that you've done that you want to get your railings, stern railings, and you want to place those on top of the fence foundations. Again, you don't have to do these parts, but they just give it extra detail. Now you want to go to the chimney. What you want to do is grab an artifact pedestal and place it on top of the chimney. And you want to place that down and that just gives it a little border to make it look a bit different from a normal pillar. Once you've done that, you want to come to the door and you want to just put a reinforced door. And then you want to come inside. And then as you can see there's these little slots that you can actually see through and i know that that would bother a lot of people so what you want to do is grab some stone railings and you just want to place these on top 
of these walls, making sure that you don't replace these adobe walls so it's the lower snap point. Once you've done that, you want to move on to ceilings and you also want a hatch, preferably wooden, but it's up to you. And then what you want to do is start from this side here and you just want to place these and fill this in. Once you get to this corner, you want to place a hatch. Like that. You want to carry this on and fill the rest of it in. Just like that. And then you just want to place some ladders here so that you can get up. And then, once you've done that, you want to come back outside. And if you're going to paint this, then what you want to do is get a spray painter or a paintbrush. And I'll show you which zones you want to paint. So if you go to the wall, for the wall, what you want to do is get mud. And for the mud, you want to be painting regions 2 and regions 3. And then for the white, you want to be painting regions 1 and region 6. And that's for the walls. Sometimes it glitches out, so make sure you get that paint down. And then do that for the rest of the walls. Once you've done that, you want to move on to the roof. And all you want to do for the roof is get slate colouring. And then just do all the regions for that. Now that you've done that, you want to move on to the pillars. And you want to paint these all mud. All regions. And now once you've done that, you want to paint the ceilings mud as well. And the ladders also. And then what you want to do is go to the stone. You want to get your paintbrush and you want to get the mud colour in. And all you're going to do is paint regions 2 on all the stone pieces. And that just makes the wood darker. Now you want to come to the door. And what you want to do is you want to paint the door mud for the wood as well. And that'll be regions 5, 6, and 1. You also want to come to this greenhouse wall here. And you want to paint this. Mud also. That just makes it look like it's actually made out of wood instead of actual metal. So that's the build everyone, tell me what you thought about it in the comments, likes and subs are much appreciated, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video.